You have registered to the Creative Classroom group and one day you receive a mail with your username and password. You visit groups.etwinning.net and you log in using the information that you were given. In the new page you can see the list of all the eTwinning groups you have joined so far. Click on Creative Classroom and here you are. Welcome to the group. It may look familiar to you as the main structure looks like a twin space. All groups have some common characteristics but there are a lot of differences as well depending on the administrator's planning. Before starting the tour around, click on the top left next to your name and go to My Account. Then click on Edit Profile and here you can put a picture of you and add some information about yourself. Remember that it's a different platform from the desktop, so take the time to introduce yourself and connect your name to a photo. Click on Change and add a photo from your computer 120 pixels tall and 100 pixels wide. Complete some information about yourself and change your password to another one of your choice by clicking Edit. When you have finished, click on Submit. In your account there is a wall that resembles a Facebook wall. Here other members can write a message to you and you can reply or post your messages to their wall. Each group works differently, but the objective is the same – exchange of ideas, good practices and creation of new learning materials. In the specific group, members choose between different topics, the administrator suggests an activity and gives some examples, and the members take the activity and adapt it to their classroom needs. Then they upload their activity in the file archive and discuss it with the other members in the forums. Almost every month teachers meet in Illuminate where they present their work and the administrator presents them with their next task. It's a nice way for bonding the team. Also members are welcome to submit their own material and share it with the group. On the top left of the home page you can see the members that have logged in recently or view them all by clicking on the view all link. Under the member space you can access your mailbox. By clicking on your inbox you can see your mails and by clicking on write message you can set your own messages. In all twinning groups there are four different roles. Administrator, someone who leads the group and have more rights in adding applications. Subgroup moderators, members that help to lead subgroups have access to staff room. Members, teachers who can contribute but also reuse material generated in the group. Members have access to all sections except for the staff room. Visitors have access to all sections except for the staff room, but they cannot post or upload their own material. In the middle of the home page, you can see the latest actions of all members' activities in the group. There is also a blog where you can add a blog entry or read and reply to other members' posts. On the right side, you can see the list of the subgroups. You can also access the subgroups by clicking here. Remember that the subgroups are open to all group members. The number and focus of subgroups are different in each group. In the Creative Classroom group, there are subgroups according to the age of pupils and one group for children with special needs. Let's visit one of these subgroups. The structure here may differ from group to group. In most subgroups, you can find a file archive with articles, activities, good practices that the administrator has put, but also members' contribution. A forum where members can discuss about different topics. A wiki that can also be used in different activities. You can also find an image gallery, web content display, or a blog. 
staff room is visible only to the administrator and the subgroup moderators. This is a place where they can meet to discuss and plan the group's activities. It has the same structure as the subgroups. The members corner is the common meeting place for all members. It has the same structure as the subgroups. In the Creative Classroom group it is a place where teachers with pupils from all age levels can meet to discuss and exchange ideas and activities. E-twinning groups give their members the option to organize chat sessions in the same platform. You can arrange meetings with other members or just check if there are people online to chat with. Now you are ready to take an active part in Creative Classroom Group. Don't forget that a group is a place where you share and contribute. Only then does a group stay active and members gain knowledge. Great minds think alike. Creative minds think together is the slogan of our group and we think that it is a good expression of the philosophy of e-twinning groups. Thank you.